What's up, it's your buddy Mark. Um, catching up. This is a review for Thursday's episode. Um, I forgot the date. <laughs> um, I don't even know the date today, but last last Thursday, I'll, I'll when I when I mark it, or I'll write the date. But anyway, I um, want to give another shout out to Sarah. I'm half checking to see if if, you, if you're still watching or not. Um, but also, it made me think that you know she's about forty. She's a mom, a great mom, but you know, her kids are out of school. I mean, of course everyone is in the summertime anyway, but you know, 24 hour a day mom doesn't have time to really watch General Hospital and is missing it. And uh, I'm just thinking, she she uh, texted me um, asking if I could tell her what's been going on. She didn't even know I was making videos. And I was like, I can show you. So I just figured there's probably a lot more people like her out there. So she's really, because thinking about that, it's giving me the ambition to keep going. Because right now, this is all work and no pay. And right today is the first day it's like felt like a job. When I watch Thursdays, I probably got five messages, two phone calls. I got interrupted so much. So I had to rewatch it, take notes, uh, which is a pain in the ass. Because I stopped... Um, um, taking notes while I watch. I like to sit back, relax, and watch, then skim through it and take notes. But so I had to, but I had to completely rewatch this one. Um, take notes, and then I, I did this video. I was about, I needed about two more minutes, and I, I ran out of space. I had to clear my memory card. So here I am again doing this video again. All right, but um, I'm trying to shorten them up too, because I, my first video was 20 minutes, and I was thinking. I might as well go to YouTube, watch the episode for 36 minutes. And then I got it down to 15. I'm going to try to get down to 12. That's what I had of that. Let's see what this one ends up. All right, so I'm going to shut up. Um, starts off, Carly, you know, busting into Jason's room. She bought a motorcycle helmet, and she's lecturing him. And now she's in control of his life. That You can't die. You can't be taking chances. You know, typical Carly. Um, Sam asked to see Sonny. Guess why she wants to talk about Brando, and I cannot get a read on him either. Um, I really don't know, but it does not look good. But who knows? Who knows? And then Nicholas and Ava really haven't seen them much lately. Um, tonight's their big um, fucking revealing of Ava's portrait. I thought Ava was trying to be like a better per person. It's not that what she's doing is like mean or hurts anybody, but having a portrait painted of you and it revealed for an audience and making a party out of it, that just screams like vain. Like you can't get more vain than that. Like I don't even know what to say about it. And then Lulu, I don't know why she cares so much about GH or Cyrus buying into GH, maybe because her mom does. And maybe she's kind of like taking place to what Laura will be doing wherever Laura is right now. Cause she hasn't been um, in the episodes for a little while now. But she went down, she showed up at uh, Windermere of Nicholas Ava over there. She told Nicholas about Cyrus buying into um, GH. She said he'll give whatever money he needs. Um, and then Franco, he shows up at GH talking to Elizabeth, asked if Jason's okay. Um, Elizabeth said, Jason's fine. And so Frank was happy saying, all right, so you can come to the re reveal of the portrait because he painted it. And Liz don't want to go. Uh, she doesn't like Nicholas being married to Ava, obviously. Um, she doesn't, she's saying that's mostly because she doesn't like Franco or that Ava's like using Franco's past to like sell paintings but anyway she, you can just tell they're just not getting along ever since gh's return they're just not on the same page and then um you see sasha and chase they're at a, um i, I want to call it jake's but they're the floating rib jake's alive now so they should change it back the floating rib is a stupid name <laughs> and then anyway um brooklyn shows up and so i guess to the losers club i was actually surprised at this she said What's worse, a family trader? She was talking about herself or two cheaters. And then went to commercial. That was the beginning. Then I'm going to speed up a little. I'm going to concentrate in the beginning and the end. 
Because there's a lot of blah, blah, blah in the middle. <laughs> so anyway, um, Sasha, she was arguing with Brooklyn. And then um, some chick with blue hair, which actually I, I found pretty. But usually I don't like that type of stuff. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, she says, oh, I recognize you from De from Deception. And Sasha's like, oh, thank you. And she says, um, I I know your photographer. She told me a little about you. And Sasha like had like a heart attack, dragged her across the room. Well, I'll make sure I'm not getting um, ahead of myself. But then, um, I actually, I am. Um, Nick tells Ava that he's been talking. Well, actually, Ava was first asking about Spencer. She was saying, are you going to divorce me and let me keep 90% of your fortune and go back to your son? And then Nicholas said, I, I talked to Spencer. He said he doesn't want me without the money. He says, um, me being married to you is exactly what I deserve. And then Lulu, she's running around town. She's already off Spoon Island. I mean, it can't be that quick. Now she's going to GH to find Sonny. And um, Carly, she's talking to Jason. She messes up and says something about Sasha. She's like, but I feel so bad for Sasha though, what she gave up. And Jason's like, what are you talking about? Sasha cheated. And then Carly's like, oh yeah, never mind. And then she's like, I gotta go, I gotta go before Jason could ask her another question because she's not good at lying to Jason. So she pretty much ran away. Um, but so I wonder if that will lead to something. Like if Michael found out the truth now, would it matter? Oh, did I miss that? Um, Michael and Willow, they were just fawning over Wiley because they got um, custody. Um, there was nothing big there, but I, just, I might have missed that one little part. And then, all right, so where was I? All right, so then Sasha, she drags the girl in the back, like, what are you talking about? What the photographer tell you? And the girl's like, calm down. She's like, just say you need a little pick-me-up. And then she, Sasha was like, it was just a one-time thing, I swear. And the girl's like, yeah. Um, but geez, I've heard, I've never seen it. And I've been around that shit. I've never seen anyone give free samples. But um, the photographer gave her free shit. Now this chick, she gave her free shit. And then something happened. Um, Brooklyn said something to Sasha that got her really upset. Poor Sa I feel so I feel so bad for her. And she's so pretty. So pretty. But she goes in the bathroom. I saw the bag of Coke. That's at least fifty dollars. Probably more like a hundred. Who just gives that away? I mean, I don't know, but whatever, we're not gonna focus on that. And then um so Sonny goes in, talk to Dr. Jason. Um and Sonny tells Jason that Cyrus is now bought um i don't know what you call it. he's now a shareholder of uh gh then jason's like why didn't elq step in and then sonny says because valentine now um is running the elq and you know jason he didn't say oh it's because of sam he he kept he didn't say anything but um you could you could see he was angry and then um, what happened? Nicholas and he's working on Ava's guilt. He's trying to make her feel real guilty. Just saying, you know, I can't see my son. It's all because of you. You know, he said he would accept me, but he wants nothing to do with you because you sold the mode for Valentine. And anyway, he's, he's getting Ava to feel guilty. But then you see later. Um, Nicholas is talking to Spencer. They're working together um, to try to get Ava to feel so guilty to leave the marriage. And um, But I thought this was interesting. Nicholas, he's still married to Hayden because he didn't die. So they're still married. I mean, we learned that from when Drew came home that Sam is still married to Jason. And plus, I already knew, I already knew that stuff. So... Uh, I don't even think that Nicholas and Ava are really married. But anyway, he's working with Spencer. They both got the same goal to get Ava guilty enough to walk away. Even though I don't think she ever will. And then Cyrus. He wasn't this episode at all. This is like 40 minutes in. He shows up. 
He should, he's in, he's been in like every episode. And of course, Lulu, she's still a GH. She's just by herself. He shows up behind her. And he says that, um, I forget the word he goes. He's not just a shareholder. I think what he says he's a chairman. I don't know what the difference is. Like, I really, I'm sorry. I don't. But, um, anyway. And then, uh, Ned tells Michael that Lucy voted for Valentine. And that he's no longer CEO. And that Brooklyn was, um, the biggest trader. At least in Ned's eyes. There was a lot of traders. But that's a lot for Michael to take in in one sentence, boy. Oh, uh, the ELQ is no longer in the family hands. You're no longer CEO. And by the way, your cousin sold it, sold you out of it. That just, that just seemed like a lot. Like, you could have broke that up a little bit. And then anyway, Michael, he doesn't even care. He's got custody of Wiley. He's got a beautiful girl in Willow. He's rich. He has no reason to work. I'm not saying be lazy and never work again. But you got like a one-year-old, maybe two-year-old son. It's the perfect time to step away from work. And you got money, so you don't have to worry about it. I wrote he's got he's got his prior, priorities straight. And probably as soon as Willow and Michael like had the first kiss, the truth probably will come out about Sasha. Because Carly, her messing up, that, that's going to lead to something. You know it is. And then anyway, Carly, she finds Chase and Willow, and then she, um, thanks them so much. She, well, she, well, first she tells them that Michael and Willow got custody, because they didn't know yet, so she's thanking them so much. And then, um, Sam goes into Jason's room. You can just tell by Jason's body language that he's mad, and, um, you can just tell and uh, i'm sorry i missed another part um what's her name olivia she showed up at floating rib she got brooklyn brooklyn was in the middle of getting hammered uh um olivia was very nice to her she gave her well it's easy for her she gave her a room at the metro court because ned kicked her out kicked her out of the house so she feels bad a lot because she misses dante but she's saying, you don't do that to your children. That was kind of last episode. But she she gave um, Brooklyn a, a, a key card to the Metro Corps, which, luck, she, lucky Brooklyn. She just goes from a mansion to a five-star hotel with room service. I mean, shit, I'd take the hotel with a mansion anyway. And then, so Jason's mad. He tells Sam, and now Valentine has the owns 51 percent is in control of the company and jason's a lot like me he does not yell at women i do not yell at women i'll, I'll get very silent i, I just don't like won't say a word just fuck I'll, I'll turn into stone cold pretty much um but i didn't i've seen guys get face to face with girls screaming as loud as they can face red and the girl was giving it right back, but I, I could never, I, I'm not like that to women. I, could, I never could be. Um, and then Sims, sorry, if I was just saying my battery's low. Now that sucker just died. This is already my second time doing this video. And then Sims saying, doesn't make any sense that Scout only has 15% and Danny has five. I only wrote that down because that makes no sense. Why would Danny have 5% and Scout have 15 it, Whatever. Um, it's just something that bothers me. Because what I do, I listen to hip-hop. And I like, I, I talk about I, rap songs. I break down the lyrics. And so stuff that doesn't make sense. Like my job to point out. And this just doesn't make sense. Why would Scout have more? Like, no one even knew about Drew. This was Drew's... Uh, grand, they're both grandchildren, so they should have the same, actually. It just makes no sense, but that has nothing to do with nothing. And that was actually the end of the episode, was Jason, he's pretty upset with Sam. But like I said, they can't have a Sam and Jason reunion while it's the wrong chick playing Sam. Alright, I want this video only 15 minutes, so I should stop, but I really wanted to just address, um, previous to tomorrow real quick. Um... Maxie knows Lucy's hiding something, 
Scott says to Lucy what she did. Um, and then it shows Liz and Franco, but you can't really tell what they're talking about. And then Liz, uh, uh, Ava, Nicholas, they're getting ready to unveil Ava's portrait. Um, and, oh, Anna, she's talking to Finn. Why aren't you inviting your father to the wedding? I don't know. Um, we'll get into that tomorrow. It did not look like a good Friday's. I still haven't seen it. I'm about to watch it now, so I, I'm still probably gonna at least, I'm probably gonna do another video tonight, or I'll have it out early tomorrow before Monday's airs, and I'll finally be out this hole, and, and then I can start doing videos for previews also. But all right, so it's turning into about 60 minutes. I didn't want it to get that long, but anyway, it's better than 20. I'm trying to cut down from that. All right, peace. Hope you enjoyed that.